Kanye special Wire to a higher choir sound so celestial Will he kid around, sit around Or will he turn it up that vessel Spit stupid with the mucus sick Alien Roswell You know what he's finest Jimbo Wham, Hollywood, South Carolina, Norfolk, Virginia. No if you'd be as that. Stand up. What you been through? They got you tripping. Feeling like I've been too. In need of some subtraction, distractions. Cluttered up my mental. How you been cool? Well, that's how I've been trying to keep it. Passing by the quiet. See niggas done. Got tired of preaching. Find my ego. I go evil. No equals. Fuck what was before. Okay. No playing. I have my way like Carlito. But you don't understand what you see though. The police believe though. My team roll like some fucking Gambinos. You see ho. Every day I'm on my grind, nigga. Wake up with money on my mind, nigga. Where y'all from, man? Oh, uh, man, we from North of Virginia. I'm from originally from North of Virginia, man. Okay. Where um, you from, Jimbo? I was born in South Carolina, but raised in North of Virginia. No of you to be exact. Okay, when did y'all start producing? Um, I started producing <clears throat> about uh, three to four years ago. I started producing with my brother about two years ago. Okay. Um, Man, I started producing right around the time I got tired of getting whack beats, man. Uh, okay. I started off originally writing, so um, production wasn't really my my main focus. But mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. When I started linking up with bro, we started you know what I'm saying building on some ideas, and you know what I'm saying. Probably around a couple of years ago, we decided to tighten everything up and get it in. You know what I'm saying get it in order. How long you been rapping, man? Ah, uh, man, I've been rapping since man. Maybe like ninth grade, eighth grade, something like that. Ninth grade. Yeah. <laughs> so some thing going around. I heard you been signed before. Like, ah man. What was that with that whole situation? Jeez, that was a big mess, man. Um, no comment. <laughs> no comment. <man. laughs> I tell you. Sometimes it's a family influence, and sometimes it may be a gift just given. You know what I'm saying? But in your case, what alleged, what originally led you down a path of music? Well, um, in our case, I believe that. You know, basically was a gift from God, uh, you know what I'm saying, yeah. however you want to perceive that. But I believe that it's something that you're born with, and a lot of people have that knack. Some people don't, and they still shoot their shot. But I think what led us down the path is just realizing that we had a gift, and we had to wake up to it and act on it fast, right? Yeah. Congrats on y'all winning at the I Stand and Beat competition, you know, Thank in you. L.A. in December. <laughs> How'd y'all feel about the feedback y'all got from the judges? Um... I felt great, man. I honestly was a little surprised. I mean, I didn't think they would, you know, have such, you know what I'm saying, responses. They was pretty cool. Like, they was, they really enjoyed the music, man. Um, yeah, I was getting mad love. Yeah, man. Mad love, man. It was kind of crazy because, yeah, you know, love in that joint. especially with today, you know what I'm saying, you got your trap music, you got your all types of different types of styles, man. Trying to bring back that soul, man. Okay. It's kind of hard, man. It's like really looking at that holy grail, you feel me? Yeah, man. So, you know what I mean? Like, I was really, we were, you know what I'm saying? We were pretty excited, man. Pretty stoked just for the fact that they just gave us some good responses. And um, yeah. we really enjoyed that feedback, man. Okay. Shout out to I Stanger for that opportunity as well, man. Most definitely. We was a little bit nervous, but mm -hmm. when they called, when they called my brother's name, number one, yeah, it was a feeling that you can't, words can't express. Yeah. <laughs> words can't express. It felt like all those years of putting in all that hard work, mm -hmm. Somebody actually see the hard work that we did. Yeah. Got the congrats for it. Words can't express how we felt in that room when y'all cut those beats mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, over talk, you know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so producers like Willie B and BP from the Olympics are seasoned producers. They listen to your music in a live set, which is rare. Can you describe for producers out there who may have never participated in an event like ours? the importance of meeting and building with those type of people that y'all met? Well, um, first of all, thanks to I stand for the opportunity thanks, again, man. And um, I just feel like, you know, it's, it's, it was a rare situation, man, if people are willing to invest in themselves, which every artist should be willing to, you know, to invest in themselves, Definitely. then they can really, like, you know what I'm saying, benefit from that type of opportunity. And, like, I feel like people should heed the type of opportunities for the outlets that I stand to provides, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like, definitely since you, it's 
you got to network to get out here, man. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the feedback and the experience and gathering that energy from people who know what it takes to be successful in today's music industry. Yeah. Did you get a chance to talk to any producers on the side after y'all showcase? Oh, man. We actually got, you know what I'm saying, got to chop it up with Books and Beasts from Good Music, man. He, um, he actually gave us a few jewels. He, uh, he actually dropped something on us. He said, uh, he said, uh, in order to make it in this industry, you have to make a classic or make something different. You know what I'm saying? In order to make something different, you have to know what it takes to make a classic. So that's real shit right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So me and my brother, we we keep that in mind every time we go in on our creative process. And, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just with this, the colors of the sounds that we pick. You know what I mean? That's a major benefit from doing it. Huh? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Shout out to Books the Beast for that. Shout out to Books the Beast. Most definitely. What are some things that y'all got in the works? Any local artists that we should look out for? Oh uh, man, son, um, psh, always working, man. Gotta stay busy out here, man. I'm working on, well, we working on a few joints. So I got an artist out of Virginia. His name is uh, Young D the Pilot. He got a project coming out called Take Flight 2. Uh, we're working on a project with Del Dorado. Make sure you check him out. He got a couple of videos out. It's crazy right now. In the tree of life, switch your black smoke. Definitely uh, peep that out, you feel me? Okay. Um, also, uh, got a couple of artists. Uh, London Boy coming out with the mix, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, basic, uh, my dude Basic. Definitely Intellect. check him out. Intellect. Donnie Space. Space. Also got a project coming out, man. I'm doing a little hardcore rhyming, you feel me? A project called Vice Gritty. That, uh, one of my partners, uh, Logic Marcellus, is producing, man. Definitely check that out. It's a real boom back experience, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Okay. So how would y'all characterize y'all sound? Well, um, I would basically, like, I would say, like, not to put it in any type of category, man. I don't really like to use genres, but uh, yeah. basically we just have, like, an expression of sound, man. It's an ongoing sound, you know what I'm saying, an ongoing sound, I like to call it the never, the, you know what I'm saying, the always growing flower, you know what I'm saying, yeah, so, yeah. at the same time, like, we take different elements that we come across in our life, you know what I'm saying, and try to, try to, you know what I'm saying, pretty much blend that into our creative process, and try to keep an open mind with everything that we add, so, you know what I mean, I would say we just the expression of sound. Yeah, it's beyond expression, that's like that. What y'all, you know what I'm saying? What y'all trying to bring out that boom back, man. That's what <laughs> the niggas need to hear right now. <laughs> what up, zombie music out here? But it's not just only good uh, boom back, it's good music. Yeah, definitely. Good music. I'm sorry for not including that conversation <laughs> like that, you know what I'm saying? Who do you feel has been your biggest influence when it comes to the production world and why? Both past, present, and future. Well, um, in the past, man, I say. Producers like Jay Dilla, man, Pete Rock, man, like those producers that just carry that soul, that boom bap, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That neck break of music, you know what I mean? That kept that, you know what I'm saying? That 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 real intimate vibration with it, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. And it's it's just like producers like that who know how to add those organic elements. You can tell they they know what it's like to feel. You feel me? So oh, definitely, um, man. definitely people like you know what I'm saying, Knots Raw, Bink Dog. For real, you know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's where we come from. Those are like the pioneers in Virginia, you know what I'm saying? So okay. you know what I'm saying we definitely look at those people like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the king. <Demo. laughs> Is there anybody that you look up to when it comes to producing? Well, um, when I started producing, mm -hmm. I was into like a lot of the radio plays and whatnot. Okay. My brother's my biggest inspiration. Um I used to just Listen to the radio, try to be like other producers, yeah. craft their sound and whatnot. But after making beats with my brother, mm -hmm. him teaching me a whole lot of things, it just became my inspiration. To seeing him work, it's a blessing. Yeah. So I take that in the room with it. Okay. We just make good music together. Now. That's real shit right there. We're yeah. trying to catch up to him, but he's moving too fast. Ah, yeah. yeah. All right. It seemed like Where can we find you guys online? Oh, How many else y'all fans? Ah uh, man, they don't already know. Check us out, man. You can um, you can check me out, man. Just Google me. I L L I E N R O S E W E L L, man. You can just Google me. I'm the only one with my name. Check me out. Twitter at Alien. You know what I'm saying? Instagram I nine R nine. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. Follow me. See what we doing. Word word. Jumbo Lamb. 
You can Google me also. I'm the only person in the world named Jimbo Wham. My brother's the only person in the world named Alien Roswell, but you can find me on Facebook, Jimbo Wham, J-I-M-B-O-W-A-M. Um, Twitter, Jimbo Wham, Reverb Nation, Jimbo okay. Wham, uh, Bandcamp, Jimbo Wham Beats with an X, dot bandcamp.com. You see all my music. So it should basically be no issues when it comes no to issues. looking you guys up. Man, no Google, issues. man, oh, if it, if it is an issue, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Different at Bandcamp.com. We also got some collaborative projects we worked on up there, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Check that out, man. Most definitely, man. Anything to add? Um, psh, man, special shout out to 8 Money Clothing Line, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what y'all got on, right? Oh, yeah, oh, man. definitely, man. That 8 Money. That shit is crazy, They keep man. us in the fresh stuff, man. It's, yeah. just, it's only, a, you know what I'm saying, a small amount of what they make. So, you know what I'm saying? We're definitely grateful. Shout out to 8 Money Shout Clothing. Shout out to 8 Money Clothing. We definitely need to keep our minds, I mean, like our eyes out on that. You know what I'm saying? That's right. crazy right there. Yeah, man, I thought it was really dope, man. The 8 actually means astute people excel. I thought that was, that was you know what I'm saying? Quite interesting. That's dope as hell. Yeah, yeah definitely, man. Shout out to 8 Money Clothing, man. Definitely, man. Anything else? Like, um, big shout out to I Got Me Entertainment. Okay. Um, they be holding us down. Strong out here in LA. Big shout out to them. Um, shit. I don't, I don't forget you want to forget nobody, right? Shoot. Well, niggas be mad. Shout out to Young D the Pilot, man. Check out that Take Flight too, man. Um, also, still check out that Vice Gritty, man. Ilian Roswell, Logic Marcellus, man. Check out that Essence of Soul, Jimbo Wham. You feel me? That's coming soon. I hope y'all ready for that, man. Like, um, Jimbo, when can we look out for the Essence next time you talk? Um, the Essence is out right now. Okay. Um, got a lot of good feedback off that. Mm -hmm. February, I'm dropping late February, probably the Essence of Soul. And maybe marks the essence of trap. I'm not sure yet. And they can all find that on your Bandcamp website? Yeah, jimbowhambeats.bandcamp.com. And that's beats with an X. Elaine, what about the Vice Gritty? What can they look for that at? Oh uh, man, Vice Gritty is gonna be everywhere, man. It's gonna basically you can check you can check it out on mrdifferent.bandcamp.com. I'll probably have a few available just for just for you know what I'm saying, certain selected sites, because I, I don't really want it to be you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a date yet? Easy attainable. Um, we shooting for May, man. Um, I can't really lock down a date just, you know, as of yet. We still in the creative process right now. So, uh, okay. it's, it's a lot to look forward to, man. We got some pretty good My bands. birthday's coming up in May, so that'll be, like, right in time, you know? Shoot, sure, might be on the same day, man. Like, hopefully, that'll be what's up. I'm looking out for both of y'all music, though. You know what I'm saying? You, you got a knack for dropping albums and beat tapes on people's birthdays. Yeah. 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 I feel you on that. Well, we definitely gonna be on the lookout for y'all music. Once again, congratulations to y'all on the I Stand Up Beat Food competition. More things to come for y'all, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely not the last we're gonna see Ilian Roswell and Jimbo Wham, right? Oh no, oh no. We got a lot of things to work. Okay, okay. Definitely, yo, shout out to Dweeb Lifestyle Clothing, man. Shout out to Dweeb. Shout out to my brother Santana McFly. Uh, Donnie Spade Q. Uh, my, the, my our manager Lou, Lou Del Dorado on the camera. Del Dorado. Dorado. Okay. You know what I'm saying. All right, man. Good conversation, man. Stay up, y'all. Right. Okay, man.